Today's Mass is offered for Joanne Pillian. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has always allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted share in his ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John, until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who is also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. 
the word of the Lord. Our response, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun, is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the earth, and the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, From the dung heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept the Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Today the Church celebrates the feast of St. Matthias, Apostle and Martyr. And The interesting thing about St. Matthias is that he was the only apostle that wasn't chosen directly by Christ during Christ's public ministry. Kind of like how he chose Peter and Andrew and called them by name to come follow him. Because St. Matthias, as we heard in the first reading today, um, replaced Judas, who, as we know, betrayed the Lord, and out of his great guilt and despair, went off to kill himself. And so there were only 11, and there needed to be 12. And Peter knew this. And we we see in the first reading the, the primacy of Peter by initiating this this college of apostles, this gathering, um, to initiate the replacement and appointment of Judas's seat as an apostle. 
that it was necessary to do so. Because 12 is the number of fullness, of completeness. It's a prophetic number. And Peter saw the importance that what they represent is the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, so if we know our Old Testament, we know that there are 12 tribes of Israel. And this represents the fullness of the church and of the foundation of the church to go out to the whole world and preach the gospel to every man under the sun. And so, what are the requirements of being an apostle? To Peter, he says, it is necessary that one of the men who accompany us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. To be an apostle means that you must know who Jesus was. You must have walked with Jesus from the beginning, the very beginning of his public ministry, from the moment he was baptized by John. You know, not, not to come along later, not to be an ordinary disciple, but to be in the inner circle of the apostles and to be taught and instructed by the mouth of Christ himself. And the most important thing is to be a witness of his resurrection, to believe, to have that conviction that Christ is alive, and to be with Christ and walk with Christ even after the resurrection, and to see that he is in fact alive, that he is truly risen, to witness and experience the nail marks in his hands and in his feet, to eat with Christ after the resurrection, to be convinced that he is alive. Because that apostle needs that conviction, needs to preach to the nations with that conviction that Jesus is alive, and he needs that courage to die for Christ as a martyr, to die for this that he knows to be true. And so with that, he can follow Christ in the way of love when Christ said, no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. And since Matthias knew Christ, and was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, he can go out, preach the gospel, and die for the name and person of Jesus Christ. All for the salvation of souls. And his blood acts as the seed of the church, which blossoms and grows from those apostolic foundations, the beginnings of the church, and so we give thanks to St. Matthias and all the apostles for their witness and testimony and for their passing on of the faith to us to this day where we bear the fruit of their labor and of the shedding of their blood. Amen? Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living, and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Alleluia.
prayer for spiritual communion for those watching from home. May Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Matthias. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.